list. At number 10, let's look at Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, of course, is a boxing legend. Iron Mike Tyson, you know, that name says it all. Well, he converted to Islam in the 1990s, and he has held all three major championship belts and said he has made various religious pilgrimages, including one to the city of Mecca. Many sources have said that Tyson converted to Islam while he was imprisoned following a conviction in the year 1992. But Tyson, who served three years of the six-year sentence, said that that isn't the case. In his own words, he says, and I quote, I was Muslim before I went in to prison. My chauffeur was in there, the Nation of Islam Captain Joe. He would educate me every day, every second. From there, the celebrity at number nine is Ellen Bernstein. This American actress who was born a Christian, she converted to Islam after studying Sufism. Ellen Bernstein is also in very close contact with preachers of the Sufi sect of Islam. She was named Hadaya after converting, but is not committed to just one specific religion, although yes, she does practice Sufi Islam. Coming in at number eight, we have Jermaine Jackson, the brother of the late king of pop, Michael Jackson. He revealed that he converted to Islam from Christianity. In an interview with BBC, Jermaine, he described how he and his sister went on a tour of the Middle East and this happened back in the year 1989 and he really emphasized that he met some children who welcomed them warmly. Jermaine revealed that during his conversation with the children, they were quick to tell him that they were proud of Muslims. Now, the children's confidence, he said, really shook me from within. Then they started telling me about Islam. They were giving me information that was relevant to their age. Their tone of their voice would reveal that they were extremely proud of Islam. This is how I approached Islam. That's his own words. In at the number seven spot, let's take a look at Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. When asked about the journey of conversion to Islam, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, he said that the transition was not merely a change in a celebrity brand name, but a transformation of the heart, a transformation of the soul, and a transformation of the mind. Here's one quote from Kareem Abdul-Jabbar himself. I used to be Lou Alcindor, the pale reflection of what white America expected of me. I'm Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the manifestation of my African history, culture, and beliefs. And when you convert to an unfamiliar or unpopular religion, it invites criticism of your intelligence, patriotism, and sanity. I should know, even though I became a Muslim more than 40 years ago, I'm still defending that choice. Buster Rhymes comes next at number six. He is famous definitely for how fast he can rap. And one of the significant years of change in his life was back in the year 1983 when his parents got divorced and he decided to change his religious beliefs. He also suffered a personal loss in the year 1992 when he lost his son. Now, these challenges haunted him, but Buster Rhymes, he has spoken publicly about his faith, explaining that Islam is what grounds him. He says, I'm too blessed to fit the mold. They said, press six to give your soul, or not, and you can hold. You are never gonna explode. Number five leads us to Jennifer Grout. In an interview with Al Jazeera, Jennifer Grout, who is an American singer, she recalled pleasant memories of her time in Morocco, which prompted her to convert to Islam back in 2013. Jennifer Grout said that after graduating from McGill University in Canada and taking a summer trip to Morocco in 2012, there was something special about Morocco that affected her and led her to convert to Islam. Now, the singer was referring to how generous and hospitable the Moroccan people actually are. Listening to all of the mosques call to prayers at the same time also really surprised her. And she began listening to the Quran actually back in the year 2010. But according to Al Jazeera, she is now well known for her recitations of the Quran. So yeah, she started to listen to the Quran. She went on her trip. And then a year later, boom, she became Muslim. Next up, let's look at Sharmila Tagore. 
Sharmila Gori, the actress who was awarded the Padma Bhushan by the government of India in the year 2013, has also converted to Islam. She fell in love with Mansoor Ali Khan Potadi. He's a late cricket player and converted to Islam before marrying him. She was born a Hindu, but after her marriage, she changed her name to Aisha Begum. And Saif Ali Khan, Saba Ali Khan, and Soha Ali Khan are the couple's three children. Number three leads us to Nicholas Anelka. Nicholas Anelka was 16 years old when he converted to Islam. He says that he was always righteous and had good values and over time he became sure that Islam was the religion for him. He had these words to say and I quote, I felt this relationship with God and that enlightened my life. I had that conviction in my heart that that was my religion. Coming in at the number two spot in this episode, Dave Chappelle. Top American comedian Dave Chappelle revealed that the moment he decided to convert to Islam was his experience at the Holy Zamzam well in Saudi Arabia. Chappelle actually stated that his journey of conversion to Islam originally started when he was 17 years old and living in Washington DC at a pizza shop with a Muslim employee. And Dave Chappelle, he had this to say, I asked him questions about his religion and he was so enthusiastic about it that it was very compelling. I liked Islam's perspective and I think these things influenced my decision that I wanted to have a meaningful life, a spiritual life. Ending this episode off at number one, the newest Muslim convert in this list is Andrew Tate. British American kickboxer and influencer Andrew Tate, who was banned on all social media platforms earlier this year, 2022, has now officially converted to Islam. The former kickboxer previously described Islam as being the last true religion on the planet and that he is now confirmed that he is Muslim himself after a video of him praying in a mosque went completely viral online. Tate is a self-proclaimed success coach and he had this to say in his own words. This is why I'm Muslim. Any Christian who believes in good and understands the true battle against evil must convert. So be patient. Indeed, the promise of Allah is true. And he cited that from the Quran, Surah 30, verses 60. At number 10, we have Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson, of course, is the sister of the legendary singer Michael Jackson and a renowned actress and singer herself. She converted to Islam back in the year 2013 in order to marry her Muslim fiancé, Wissam Al-Mana. Janet Jackson left the entertainment industry after marrying the Qatar-based billionaire entrepreneur, claiming that she was tired of the antagonistic industry and needed some privacy from the snooping paparazzi. She is, however, planning a comeback apparently, with a new album under her own record label. Number nine, we have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Ferdinand Louis Alcindor Jr. changed his name to Abdul-Jabbar after converting to Islam. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, he rose to prominence as a basketball player while growing up in New York City. He dominated the local high school and was later transferred to UCLA. He won the 1971 NBA title with Oscar Robertson, and after winning the title, he announced the news of his conversion. While talking about the reason why he changed his name, he said this, and I quote, the adoption of a new name was an extension of my rejection of everything in my life that related to my families and people's enslavement. He said this in a 2015 Al Jazeera America editorial. He then went on to say, and I quote, my ancestors were owned by Alcindor, a French planter in the West Indies. My ancestors were Yorubas from the modern day Nigeria. Keeping the name of my family slave master seemed to dishonor them in some way. His name felt like a shameful scar. From there, let's move on to Sharmila Tagore. Sharmila Tagore, a Hindu by birth, converted to Islam after falling in love with an Indian Muslim cricketer, Mansur Ali Khan Patadi. She converted to Islam in order to marry Khan back in the year 1969. While Tagore, she felt pressured to convert to Islam before marrying a Muslim, her daughter-in-law, Karina Kapoor Khan, did not feel the same way before marrying a Muslim actor, Saif Ali Khan. 
In at the number seven spot, we have Darmendra and Hima Malini. The 90s couple of Darmenda and Hima Malini converted to Islam in the year 1979 in order to marry each other. Darmendra was already married to Parkash Kaur when he fell in love with Hima Malini while filming Sholay. As Hindu law does not allow a man to marry two women at a time, so Dharmendra decided to change his religion to Islam so he could marry his love. Later, Dharmendra changed his name to Dilawar Khan Kiwal Krishn. Now, as they did change their religion just to get married, it is quite unsure if they ever were really practicing Muslims. Next up on the list, at number six, we have Omar Epps. Omar Epps, better known as Dr. Foreman on House, well, he is reportedly a Muslim. There are no confirmed reports on his conversion because the actor has always kept his religious views very private. But it is claimed that not only is he Muslim by faith, but his middle name is also Hashim. Up next, at number five, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Doggy Dogg. In 2009, he converted his religion to Islam and joined the Nation of Islam, the group made in 1930 with the aim to promote conditions for black Americans. While talking about his reasons for joining the group, he said, and I quote, I'm a peace advocate and I've been in the peace movement since I started making music. My whole thing isn't about trying to force my thing on you, it's just about the way I live and I live how I'm supposed to live in terms of doing what's right and representing what's right, which is why I'm here today. Funny man Dave Chappelle is up next at number four. Dave Chappelle, of course, a United States comic genius. He is one of the world's best, if not the best stand-up comedians, but he converted to Islam back in the year 1998. His conversion to Islam was influenced by his brother who had converted to Islam under the influence of the Nation of Islam and his 10-year-old Muslim family member, Salim. Now, later on, it was reported that Dave Chappelle, he abruptly left the controversial show business. And this was when his show, The Chappelle Show, was in the middle of production because the content contradicted his Islamic beliefs. But of course, he's made a big comeback now and he, in true Dave Chappelle fashion, has started a lot of controversy in revealing some truths behind society and the media industry. Mike Tyson comes next. He is the former heavyweight world champion and he has long been regarded as one of boxing's most intimidating fighters. Even to this date, people are still afraid of Mike Tyson. Either way though, outside of the ring, Mike Tyson has frequently found himself on the wrong side of the law. Mike Tyson was convicted of sexual assault in the year 1992 and the world champion boxer was arrested and imprisoned for three years. Now while he was in prison, he reportedly underwent a personal change. Mike Tyson, according to reports, converted to Islam after finding solace in Islamic preaching and beliefs. There were a few people that knew about his conversion until he tweeted a photo of himself performing Umrah in front of the Holy Kaaba in Mecca in the year 2010. A.R. Rahman is at number two. The legendary Indian music producer, singer, songwriter is known for his remarkable music compositions and was born in a Hindu household. While his mother was raised in an Islamic family and was inspired by Sufism, Rahman, he grew up as a Hindu. Only after meeting Qadiri Islam, when his younger sister became gravely ill, was he then drawn to Islamic ideals and all of their values. Then he was really moved by the religion and then soon converted to it. Coming in at number one, we have Muhammad Ali. Have you ever heard the name Cassius Clay? Well, he is no other than Muhammad Ali, the legendary boxing champion and Olympic medalist. When he was born, he was baptized as a Christian and given the name Cassius Clay. However, at the age of 20 years old, the boxer met Malcolm X, who introduced him to the Nation of Islam. And Ali was inspired and soon converted to Islam under the mentorship of Malcolm X, beginning his Sufism practice in the year 2005. Muhammad Ali was outspoken and influential, and he wore his badge of being a Muslim 
very proud. Starting off at number 10, we have DJ Khaled. He is an American rapper, producer, and of course, a DJ. I mean, like, he yells it on every single track he's in. DJ Khaled! For DJ Khaled, being a Muslim is more than just an identity, he says in his own words. It's beautiful, it's amazing, it's incredible, and it has put so many blessings upon me and my family. Akon is at number 9, so Akon has so many titles under his belt. He's a singer, he's a songwriter, he's a producer, he's a businessman, he's a philanthropist, as well as an actor, and I'm sure he does a ton of other stuff. He founded two successful record labels, Convict Music back in 2004, and Con live distributions. That was started several years later. Now in one of his songs he says, so what you know about how God comes first in our lives. Everything that we do is for Allah. Next up we have Amal Clooney. Amal al who became Amal Clooney after getting married to Hollywood movie star George Clooney, she is a world renowned lawyer and author. She also is known for her work as an activist. Amal was born into a Muslim family and she doesn't talk much about religion and she's really kept her faith quiet from the public. OG rapper Ice Cube is up next. Former member of NWA, now turned actor, he was born O'Shea Jackson, but everyone knows him as Ice Cube. He converted to Islam in the early 90s during his rap career, and he's very devout and takes his faith seriously. He was quoted saying, I mean, what I call myself is a natural Muslim, because it's just me and God. Next up at number 6 is Ellen Burstein. She's a legendary actress who's known for her roles in films such as The Exorcist, Requiem for a Dream, The Age of Adeline, and the TV show House of Cards, just to name a few. Ellen Burstein, she was raised Catholic but converted to Islam when she was in her mid-30s. Her Sufi Muslim teacher, Hare Vilayat Inayat Khan, gave her the spiritual name Hadiya, which means she who guides in the Arabic language. Yunus Bajina lands in the number 5 spot. He's Kourtney Kardashian's ex-boyfriend, model Yunus Bajina has rose to stardom on social media. And the thing that had a huge impact on his rise in popularity is him practicing and documenting his Islamic beliefs online. He revealed that he goes to prayers at mosques and he tries his best to follow the teachings of Islam. During the month of Ramadan, he shared many stories on Instagram all about the holy month of Ramadan. And he had the ladies, the Muslim ladies, going crazy. Oh my god, he's a Muslim? Oh. I'm not making that up, it's true. Google it. Now let's look at Sinead O'Connor. In a tweet, Sinead O'Connor said this in her own words. This is to announce that I'm proud to have become a Muslim. This is a natural conclusion of any intelligent theologian's journey. All scripture study leads to Islam, which makes all other scriptures redundant. I will be given another new name. It will be Shuhada. At the number three spot, we have Mahershala Ali. Mahershala Ali made history in 2017 when he won an Oscar becoming the first Muslim actor to win an Academy Award. Definitely something to brag about. He won the award for his role in the movie Moonlight, and Mahershala Ali also starred in the Netflix series Luke Cage, as well as he appeared in House of Cards, and he's also been casted this year to play Blade in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now we haven't seen him play Blade yet, but I'm looking forward to those movies. He's a fantastic actor. Aziz Ansari comes in in the number two spot. The actor and comedian is known for his roles in Parks and Recreation, as well as This Is The End. He was born in a Tamil Muslim family in India, and when speaking about religion, during a monologue on Saturday Night Live, this is what Aziz Ansari had to say. A lot of people are Islamophobic, which doesn't make sense on paper because you know the God in Islam is the same God that was revealed to Abraham and Judaism and Christianity same God people are like ah what do they say just God is good normal religion stuff it's okay you want to end Islamophobia honestly just change that music now for the celebrity that landed in in the number one spot is Bella Hadid the gorgeous supermodel Bella Hadid has represented some of the top luxury brands out there she's half Palestinian and her view on religion was heard a lot louder after the whole Donald Trump Muslim travel ban thing. Bella condemned the travel ban and since then Bella has been a lot more vocal about her faith saying that she's a proud Muslim. Bella encourages everyone to foster compassion despite the differences between people whether it be race 
or religion. So definitely some good principles for anyone to live by. So okay, starting at number 10, we have Zayn Malik. Former One Direction singer Zayn Malik is one of the most famous Muslim stars out there right now. His religious identity, of course, has caused a lot of criticism and conflict, especially because of his smoking and his tattoos and his lavish celebrity lifestyle. Conservative Muslims say that these are completely inconsistent with the teachings of Islam, so he's not even really a Muslim in their view. Next up at number 9 we have Shaquille O'Neal aka Shaq. Now he has been identified as Muslim in several biographies but he is quoted to have said I'm Muslim, I'm Jewish, I'm Buddhist, I'm everybody because I'm a people person. Shaq played for six different teams over his 19 year NBA career and he won four NBA championships and was an NBA all-star as well. Shaquille O'Neal was raised Christian, but he had a Muslim stepfather. Coming at number eight, we have Janet Jackson. So Janet Jackson, the sister of the late Michael Jackson, was a huge pop culture icon in her own right. She sold over 160 million records and won five Grammy Awards. And you know, Janet Jackson, like the rest of her family, was raised as Jehovah's Witness, but she converted to Islam back in the year 2015. And that came just a few years after marrying a Muslim billionaire by the name of Wissam Al Mana. Lupe Fiasco comes at the number seven spot. So American rapper Lupe Fiasco initially disliked the musical genre of hip hop because of its tendency to promote drugs and was just completely vulgar and it promoted a lot of violence and misogyny. However, he appears to avoid all of that temptation and he produces his own unique style of rap which is in line with his Muslim faith. Not many people knew that he's a practicing Muslim. The sixth spot goes to T-Pain. Recording artist T-Pain whose real name is Fahim Rashid Naeem. He was raised Muslim and he expressed his beliefs in religion and has said that he does not like that religion separates people. This is what he said and I quote, I try not to put a label on my beliefs. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. I was raised Muslim, I believe in everything. I believe in Buddha, I believe in whatever it is. I like free will. Halfway in, we have Iman. So, Iman Mohammed Abdul Majid, the Somali American model, entrepreneur, and actress, professionally known as simply Iman, is a Muslim as well. Her stage name literally means faith in Arabic. Comedian Dave Chappelle comes in at number four. So he was raised by a Unitarian Universalist minister and was originally an atheist. Back in the year 1998, Chappelle converted to Islam and he even tried to go on the ceremonial pilgrimage called Hajj. But he was held up in Turkey because he was denied a visa. Yeah, Dave Chappelle has a long history of controversy, but he seems to continue to pop up in the public eye and continues to go strong. Number three brings us Dr. Oz. Dr. Mehmet Oz is of Turkish American descent and he's also a Muslim. He's an acclaimed surgeon and author and the host of the popular health and wellness TV series, The Dr. Oz Show. And this was launched by Oprah Winfrey's network, Harpo Productions, in conjunction with Sony Pictures. Former heavyweight boxing champion Mike Tyson comes in at number two. Mike Tyson has held all three major championship belts that boxing offers. His career has had its share of controversial moments, which I won't get into right now because yeah, that's that's uh, no, no. But Mike Tyson, he says that he is a proud Muslim. And finally, at number one, we have Angelina Jolie. Okay, well, she's like three religions. Angelina Jolie, she visited Pakistan and she actually goes there pretty often. And she's known for dabbling into several different religions like Buddhism, Christianity, and Islam. And she's even said that I have a Buddhist son and I'd like a Christian and a Muslim child too. <laughs>